Well, hi guys. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, as the case may be. I just wanted to give everybody a quick follow-up on my video with Antonio Subarets. As you know, he put out a video indicating that if we could show that the horizon was lower than the level at our observation height, we could prove the globe Earth to his satisfaction. He worded it a little bit differently using a tube, but the bottom line is the horizon has to be below level at the observation height in order to prove the spherical Earth. And I went and did that and put out a video. Well, unfortunately, my builder's level was a little bit off, and uh, Antonio brought that up uh, in a response video, so I had to end up withdrawing that observation. But the Isle of May observation still stood. So I went ahead and redid it and reposted a video with the new results. And here those are. As you see, we used a water level rig. This came off of YouTube. Uh, that was brought to my attention by Rory. It was done a little bit earlier. But it's an excellent demonstration using a water level to show that the horizon clearly drops below level at the observation height. So with this, I asked Antonio to go ahead and just admit on his channel that the Earth, of course, is a sphere, as I have demonstrated it here using his criteria. As I was working on the assumption that Antonio is intellectually honest, uh, didn't really think that would be much of a problem. But I got a response. Well, I was a little too optimistic, I think, on the intellectual honesty of Antonio Subarats. Because here's his response. He not only says that this doesn't show anything, he put up two more videos that supposedly contradict it. Now, while I thought his response was a little bit lame and said so, at least he went ahead and looked at it and acknowledged it and felt the need to respond to it. And one of the two videos that he put up was this shot out of an airplane window of the horizon. As you see, there's some crosshairs right there on the horizon, and this is his attempt to show that the horizon rises to eye level even in an airplane. Unfortunately, there were a couple of minor problems with this. The first thing is, is that obviously, if you're up in an airplane, you're going to be above the ground, so you have to look down to the ground, so you're going to have some declination downward on both a flat and a spherical earth. However, Antonio's theodolite showed 0 to negative 0 0.3 degrees declination, which looked a little suspicious. In fact, it actually looked like he set it to 0 at the horizon and then took the shot. And I made note of that in my response video, but a couple of subscribers actually put a comment up to have a look a little closer at the information that's reading off this theodolite. Notice there that he's in an airplane, yet it reads an altitude of zero, and the position's not on. What happened was, I don't even think he turned this thing on before he snapped the shot. That's pretty sloppy, Tony. Especially in light of the fact that since the bubble was almost touching the index mark in one of my observations, you said that invalidated the entire video. You didn't even turn your instrument on, much less properly calibrate it. And on your second video, apparently, all you did was discover normal parallax. And I didn't really feel the need to respond to that. Well, those of us in the actual scientific community love it when people find problems with our observations, so I thought I'd bring this to your attention. Unfortunately, you were a little less receptive than I was. Not only did you deny having seen the video that you commented on, wouldn't you think that that makes a statement about your science and level of intellectual integrity? I, for one, think it does. This is Bob the Science Guy signing out from beautiful northern Michigan. Happy New Year, everybody, and talk to you in 2019.